cheddar. Hey, grind hard for the culture. They placed us behind, so you know we gotta get back. It's a lot of things that you're gonna face in this world when your skin color is black. Grind hard for the culture. They placed us behind, so you know we tryna get back. It's a lot of stuff that you're gonna face in this world when your skin color is black. Discrimination and hating got put you all there. Yeah. Big dog, CEO, I wear all hats. What? Never lied to you once, I spit all facts. Uh-huh. That was our people sprayed with the water hose. That was our women raped and then called hoes. Yeah. How I'm done, my ancestor taught you how to read. Mm. Not to mention all the resources we created. Yeah. Why they didn't want to see yeah. black families together? Uh-huh. Would it be too strong with two parents at home? What? Young nigga better listen to this pimping. Don't you ever let the police get you slipping. Uh-huh. Fuck playing with guns, educate yourself, yeah. now lead your son. You gon' treat your lady right if you respect your mom Otherwise treat yeah. the opposition how it comes You're only a slave if you think you're one, nigga, yeah Grind hard for the culture, they placed us behind So you know we gotta get back It's a lot of things that you don't face in this world When you see color this black Grind hard for the culture, they placed us behind So you know we tryna get back It's a lot of stuff that you gon' face in this world When you see color is black a king from the south yeah. i had a dream like martin i hope i live it out okay. black on black crime yeah. it's a new time okay. it ain't just the opposite i gotta watch mine they smile in your face but put a knife to your spine right. you can do the same thing set your mind to it yeah. corporate it, nike it. watch how i do what it spit major pain now nah, i ain't on no fluid hey. pressurize my thoughts on the jot down the truth yeah. you ain't been through what i've been through bitch okay. started not knowing how you gonna get shit yeah. be with billy club or the police fist okay. what's up world welcome billy to another the episode of the HOG Podcast Show. I'm your host, Cho Cheddar, with CEO Gotti's family and Financial Lee's family, man. Today, we are making history by broadcasting from four different countries, which includes the USA, Germany, Singapore, and Pakistan. So we want to take this time to welcome you guys to the HOG Podcast Show. Before we get into the introductions, I want to make sure everybody hit the notification bell, followed by the all signs to receive all content for the HOG Podcast Show, the hardest underground podcast in the nation. With that being said, let's get it going. Hello, everybody. My name is Caroline, and I just wanted to um, explain to you what this um podcast is about or what we're not about and therefore um, we want to spread awareness for um, the whole autism community and for the diagnosis itself diagnosis itself and um, we want to build a platform for parents and professionals too to talk about the whole topic their experiences and victories too and um, we are trying, really trying to avoid divisive topics, but sometimes it's just not possible. So um, uh, we're gonna make um, that possible for the parents to still talk about it, but we wanna uh, tell all the audience to please be kind, to always respect others' opinions, and that, uh, yeah, we are all free to talk without having uh, huge discussions and without parent bashing or shaming and yeah we are always trying to be open-minded on this podcast and especially be kind so yeah let's have fun together over here uh, next thing i want to introduce our special guests from singapore benjamin mm-hmm. Uyang the owner and founder of um, a really big and important Facebook group on Facebook. Um, yeah, on Facebook, sure. Um, it's about it's about toys, games, and uh, books for autistic kids. And then we're going to have Hajra Zafar. She's from Pakistan, and she's a OT specialist. Welcome, Hajra. Thank you. Yeah. So, first question, 
First question is for uh, Benjamin over there, Singapore. We just want you to introduce like your group, just group period in general, your Facebook group. Uh, you want me? <coughs> sorry, you want me to answer this on my group? Yes. Just okay. introduce the group real quick. What is it about? Oh, oh, all right, all right. Okay, this group was started a couple of months back, and it grew really fast. I really didn't expect it to grow that fast because uh, I realized that uh, that that autism moms have no place to um, to get ideas on 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 autistic play and sensory play because. Uh, the way their kids play is so different. Uh, they line up their toys, you know, and they tend not to pretend play as compared to typical children. So, it's, uh, you know, if you are, and to make things worse, I think there, there's no company out there that specially makes uh, toys for autistic children. A lot of people like to put the sensory label to toys, but uh, it just happens to be suitable for an autistic child, but it was not designed or or, or created exclusively for them. So uh, you know, so the problem that I that I realize is that uh, a lot of uh, 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 autis this autism parents have no place to get ideas to share ideas. You know, so I created this group, and within a few months, I was like, boom! It from January. Until now, we grew, uh, we grow about two thousand a month, about two thousand a month. You know, yeah, we are like we are only seven months old, and we are about twenty five thousand uh, in in size so far. That's good. Yeah, it's nice. It is. <laughs> oh, Azura. Hi. Yes. Wow, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Good. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me and making me a part of this uh, little global village. <laughs> so the question I have is, what made you choose occupational therapy? Um, choosing occupational therapy, I would say, was a very uh, unique decision. I wanted to be in the field of uh, healthcare, but uh, something that's... Uh, that serves the community and uh, but at the same time um, it should be like uh, being my nature it's very jolly I would like to be around the kids I like to play around so I wanted a healthcare professional where I could where I could bring my child out so um, I researched and I researched though occupational therapy is very diverse and vast but uh, especially uh, pediatrics so I read about it and I thought it, it's something that hits me hard because I met an occupational therapist. She told me that how you can bring your child out uh, while practicing and enjoying those therapy sessions, especially with the kids. So that was the moment that I decided, OK, I'll, I'll go on with occupational therapy and especially uh, with pediatrics. So this is how I decided to choose for OT. Thank you so much. That was very, that was very, very enlightening. <laughs> Hi, Benjamin. My question is for you. I wanted to know why did, well, I may have said that already. Why did you create the Facebook group? Mm, I created the Facebook group because uh, there are two reasons. The first reason is because I think uh, autism parents have a huge, huge problem uh, looking for ideas in terms of uh, sensory play and autistic play because their children play very differently. And uh, most of the resources that you see out there, they are for typical children. And the last time I checked, there isn't a group for typical, uh, for neurotypical kids on Facebook, you, see, uh, you know, uh, let alone one for um, autistic children. So uh, I wanted to consolidate all the best ideas on one place because I've, I'm, I'm in like different autism groups and once in a while, some, some parent comes by with a great idea and then they share it and then it just gets buried, you know? So I, I just wanted a place where everybody could dumb in their good ideas and when people think about autistic play, that's that one place that they'll go to. And the second reason is, uh, would be 
an audience building because um, my my goal, uh, I'm not sure if you know that I'm a toys designer. I design uh, special toys for autistic children, things that would help them with their imitation skills and their generalization skills. These are novel toys. They are not toys that are already seen on the market. They are toys that would help them even with fine motor dexterity, uh, toys that would, uh, you know, help them with imaginative play. So, uh, and I wanted to grow a group so that this group understands what is that uh, larger mission out there that, that I'm striving towards. And uh, uh, just a little correction because uh, Caroline mentioned that I am the owner and the creator of the group. Uh, that's not wrong. I was the creator of the group, but I have since gotten uh, a group of mothers involved and I, ha I, I now, you know, I tend not to, to, to focus so much about managing the group now. And Caroline is one of the mothers that are helping me run the group. So I, I really want to do this for the community and I want it to be by the community. So, and, you know, so yeah, we got about like 10 mothers running. Oh, you hey, mean man. I? We hear you now. I hey, Gladys. But without you, <laughs> hey, good. We couldn't Hello, hear Kat. you. The end of your sentence was cut off. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's my daughter. She actually came and then she smashed the keyboard, so <laughs> uh, it muted the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. This group is really important to all of us. We are like um, ten admins right now. I think yeah. that was the part that was cut off. We are 10 and admins. Yeah. We are all yeah. um, mothers of autistic kids. And uh, yeah, we are controlling the group as much as, yeah, so, like I said earlier, divisive topics and stuff like that. So we are planning to uh, help parents create the most inclusive space, the safest space, because uh, parents, they get torn into, you know, when they're in Facebook. We want to create a safe space where nobody you know, um, would turn to them for, you know, for uh, revealing their vulnerabilities or talking about their struggles, you know. So, uh, you know, we really, this is really a group for parents, for mothers especially. And we keep this place as safe as possible, as, you know, and um, we want to do something really meaningful in this space. And uh, we're thinking about uh, creating uh, big time stories for autistic children where a, a character in that story is uh, an autistic child. And we are thinking of, uh, you know, uh, apart from toys, you know, there are many other resources that we are uh, thinking of doing like a book club, uh, you know, like an all time uh, reading list for, for parents who are new on the journey. You imagine the kind of fear and the kind of anxiety that you'll be feeling if you just realize that, oh, my child has just been diagnosed or I'm waiting for an evaluation. Uh, you know, how difficult is that, you know? And um, right. during that period, parents need to read up and they need to educate themselves. Yeah. That's a good thing to uh, know. Uh, and uh, before we get into the next uh, question, I want to uh, get some attention to our comments. We like to give our comments attention at certain parts of the show. We have Trey Ryan um, saying hello to everyone. So we say hello back to him. What's up, Trey? You know, I'm Trey. Hello. What's up? Everyone? That's me. Yeah, again, you're tuned in to the HOG <laughs> podcast show. We're bringing uh, awareness to autism today. And uh, my next question will be for Hydra. Um, what do you specialize in specifically as an occupational therapist? Um, as an occupational therapist, after I graduated, I have uh, like more than five years of experience in dealing with uh, children with autism spectrum disorders, uh, sensory processing disorder. Um, it's like more than five years that I've been practicing this. Uh, moreover, I'm also, I'll just give a little bit of my background. So I've also been associated with an organization that's uh, Occupational Therapy Without Borders that supports occupational therapists all over the world. So I'm a regional director Asia over there. Um, so uh, uh, as my career life, I started off um, uh, with a clinic uh, because I wanted to go in pediatrics. So I started out with autism. So 
uh, ever since then i've been dealing i have a lot of uh, kids that have been uh, going to mainstream schools that have been uh, that have been functional functional well uh, to participate in uh, community task and uh, basically uh, i feel like uh, autism has some, become something close to my very heart dealing with them knowing what challenges parents come through uh, and it's like becoming a little being a part of a little community understanding them being a part of them so it's been uh, more than 5 years working with them and it's feel like so close to my heart and every time i meet new parents or uh, people associated uh, creating awareness regarding autism they just become close to my heart so same is the case i was very excited um, to become a part of this podcast where i could raise a voice uh, raise uh, be a little uh, part of uh, being uh, making people aware of uh, autism so this is uh, a little bit about myself okay well that was a great sum up about it you know what i mean and it's it's good to have people like you that send feels like that they really love their job you know what i mean because that's a serious job especially that's the people we need we yeah. we the parents need right exactly that hits that's on the head so the next one is for benjamin uh what is your intention for the facebook group my intention is for it to grow into the largest group in the world and uh, i know that's a very big dream but uh, it definitely can be done at the current rate that we're growing and we are already one of the largest autism groups in the us and in the world so um i just need to, i just need to jump a couple of times uh you know jump jump a few fold and then it's going to be one of the largest groups and then uh we will be able to uh provide a lot of ideas and a lot of hope for parents who are new on this journey because um the who are the people who buy toys and, and games uh you know and sensory toys there are people who either suspect that their child is on the spectrum or they already know that their child is on the spectrum so the people joining this group out of 10 people chances is that nine of them are real autism uh, they are real autism parents and the resources that we have here if you come maybe from a poor community and you cannot afford to uh you know to have the insurance to pay for things like uh uh the you know uh like to, you you you, you, are, you are, yeah for a therapist but i i, I don't want to mention that word you see the divisive word so uh we have an slp where you can ask them questions so you can ask the rbd questions we are thinking to bring a bcba on board so uh you know and they can provide you know uh uh second opinions you know and then we have compiled a uh, book list for children book list for um parents and we pin it on top of the group so every time a, a new parent comes in they'll be able to see that wow we have so many resources prepared for them we even have a potty training group you know a you know that uh would help parents with uh you know sleep strategies and potty training and all the mothers who are in there don't uh, forget the know. list about the apps we have oh yeah we have a list of apps yeah uh the list of game uh, apps of AAC apps uh game apps um you know all kinds of different apps that would help a child you know uh yeah Nice. Because a, a lot of people have a question whenever they, they are new to this journey. Uh, which is better? Is it Proloco or is it LAM? You know, and uh, we, I actually went to different groups and I consolidated many, many different comments and uh, suggestions. And the, the, the uh, two apps that keep coming up would be LAM and Proloco. Uh, but, you know, in terms of cost, people prefer LAM a lot more because you can do a lot of things that Proloco can do. So these are some of the examples of the of the things that I do on this group. I am uh, pretty, uh, you know, uh, observant and mindful whenever I see uh, something happening in a group, when I see that people keep talking about something that really helped them, I will pick that up, you know, and I'll remember it so that, you know, I will make sure that the next time somebody asks the same question, you know, I maybe I could compile it 
into a particular resource and then we could give it over and over again to uh, you know parents who are new to the group yeah that's a good thing i would just say keep manifesting <laughs> that's the plan <laughs> yeah sorry right. i i uh, i didn't get it keep what manifesting because you said you Thank want the group you, you want the group to turn into a bigger group like so keep manifesting basically yeah, the largest group in the world, for largest Facebook group in the world, is actually a political group that's based in Pakistan. It has two million members, and I'm thinking of uh, growing it, you know, at least to a million. Our group, because you know the autism rate, the autism rate in the U.S. is so high. There is no way that you know even hundred thousand is too small for a group. That is, you can definitely grow it into one to two million. So. Um, I, I just want parents to know that if they really need help, there is this group for them, you know, because most of the autism groups out there, they're all about autism, this and that autism as an identity, autism as this people suck up, you know, I want to create a place where when parents go in, you know, they know what they're getting and what they're getting is practical ideas that will help them with their day to day life, life hacks, you know, uh, books to read and to educate themselves on uh, books for their children. Uh, video, you know, uh, uh, you know, video channel for their parents, you know, and um, uh, podcasts that sh they should be listening to. You know, we are we are the one giving recommendations to our members about all of these things, and uh, yeah, and sometimes this group is just a place for you to to vent your frustration. You know, parents who are, who struggle, you know, whenever they compare their milestones of their own kids with yep. typical children. Uh, oh, my child is five years old, but still on diapers, uh, you know, and he's getting heavier and we can't find uh, proper, you know, uh, we, we, we can't find diapers that fit and he's getting heavier, you know.